The Class 800 Super Express is a type of electro-diesel train to be used in the United Kingdom based on the Hitachi A-Train design. They are to be built by Hitachi from 2015. The first units will enter service on the Great Western Main Line in October 2017 and on the East Coast Main Line from 2018. These trains will be assembled at the Hitachi Newton Aycliff facility. The body shells are currently shipped from the Kasido plant in Japan. The Class 800 units are known by the names IET, Intercity Express Train, and the project name IEP, Intercity Express Program. They have been given the name Azuma by Virgin Trains East Coast, one of the future operators. As part of the UK Government's Intercity Express programme, the Class 800 units are to be a partial replacement for the ageing Intercity 125 trains, which currently operate services on the Great Western Main Line and the East Coast Main Line. The Class 800 units will be electro-diesel multiple units, able to draw power from electrified overhead lines, where available, and power themselves via underfloor diesel generators when outside the electrified network. The train specification requires that this changeover can occur at line speed. The trains can be converted to electric only operation by removal of the diesel engines. With the combination of fully electric and bi-mode trains, the latter have diesel and electric propulsion. The trains can travel up to 125 miles per hour in various formations from 5 to 10 cars. The Intercity Express program will provide an efficient means for passengers to travel on electrified and non-electrified routes, as well as enhancing the customer experience with more modern trains, better interiors and seating arrangements, and of course, faster journey times. The drivers of the Class 800s will release the doors, with the guard responsible for closing them using the control panels in the vestibule area. The driver will also carry out a secondary check of the side of the train before departure using the in-cab television monitors. Initially, 80 train sets will be constructed, with 36 5-car and 21 9-car units intended for operation with GWR, plus 10 5-car and 13 9-car for Virgin Trains East Coast. In March 2016, Virgin Trains East Coast announced that its trains would carry the brand name Azuma, which is the Japanese word for East. In June 2016, GWR announced that its trains would be known as Intercity Express trains. On the 30th of June 2016, GWR's test unit 800004 ran from Reading to London Paddington carrying invited dignitaries. The GWR units will enter service from October 2017. By the end of the Intercity Express programme, Hitachi will have supplied 122 Class 800 trains. 42 of which will be electric trains, and 80 trains will be bi-mode. The Class 800s are for passengers travelling on the Great Western and East Coast main lines, offering improved levels of capacity, reliability and comfort. Separately, it will also deliver 36 trains for GWR's Devon and North Cornwall routes, 19 for Trans Pennine Express, and five for Hull Trains, as part of its jam-packed order book. The Managing Director of GWR, Mark Hopwood, said that passengers can expect to see the trains operating from next summer and in regular timetable service by the autumn. The new trains will provide a step change in passenger experience across the Great Western Network and will result in more frequent and faster journeys and an increase in the number of seats available. These and a range of further passenger benefits will enable communities and businesses across the network to prosper. 
Key benefits? Well, environmentally efficient, faster trains, reduced wear on the rail infrastructure, increased passenger comfort and capacity in the morning peak. Capacity into King's Cross will be increased by 28% and into Paddington by 40%. Key priorities for the interior design were safety, accessibility, capacity and comfort of passengers. The interiors were designed in consultation with the train operating companies and rail passenger and safety groups. Hitachi Rail Europe has built strong links with the British and European supply chain. We very much look forward to seeing them in service and will definitely travel on the new Class 800. We do hope that Virgin Trains East Coast continue operating a service into Glasgow Central, although I would like to see more East Coast services using the Glasgow Central to London King's Cross via Edinburgh route. It is very interesting that trains can run on both electrified and non-electrified routes, so they can operate from London all the way to Aberdeen and Inverness. Once they're in service, we will make a special trip on one and give you a full review of the new Class 800. Well, thanks for watching. We do hope you enjoyed this video. Please have a look at our other reviews. We'll be doing a lot more. Please give us a thumbs up share and subscribe.